Hello everyone and welcome to a vlog that I've been so excited to film for ever since I got Chucky. This is our very first competition prep vlog ready for our first competition next month. So this is just going to be like me getting ready and probably like leading up to the day before and then the next vlog will be the day of the competition probably. Um, we're going to our first, uh, well it's Chucky's first competition. We're going to his first dressage competition. Um, we're just going to go on like a quiet night just to get him used to it. I have had so many messages being like, your horse is nearly six years old. Or why haven't you taken your horse to a competition yet? This is supposed to be your competition horse, but you're not competing. Well, so Chucky is six next week. Uh, but mentally and physically, he's just so young. Like, so, so young. Um, so... If you have been following me for a while, you might have known that over winter I like stopped all lessons and stuff. He went through a really big growth spurt and had a really horrible, ugly, gangly phase where his body was just, he looked like a yearling, like it was weird. Um, so we took it all the way back to basics. I put no pressure on him because his body is too precious to me to rush something just because he is nearly six doesn't mean that you know he is ready and he just wasn't ready to do the work that he needed to do so I gave him a really easy winter um just stuck to the basics in schooling nothing too strenuous on his body until he was so bum high and then he shot up and was just he had like barely any muscle um, but now he's looking great. He's really finally matured, um, both physically and mentally. So we started up our lessons again, maybe two or three months ago. Um, and he's come along so nicely. He feels ready. And that's the main thing for me. I don't, we have all the time in the world. There's absolutely no rush. And why would I risk his mind or his body by putting that pressure on him too soon? But the time has come. My patience has paid off because he has mustered out so nicely. He has his confidence. Um, so we're going to go to our first dressage competition. I'm just treating it as like an arena hire. Um, I have zero expectations. Well, my only expectations actually is for him to travel there nicely and to just keep his head. I don't mind if, you know, our test goes out the window or anything but as long as he warms up nicely and goes into the arena for me that is enough and it'll be good to get some feedback from people who haven't seen him before just to see where we're at and to see what we need to be focusing on in our training and stuff so um ash and i are going to go to ingate stone today i've got a few bits i need to get ready um and i'm just so excited i'm so so excited see you guys at the yard just got to the yard. Say hello. Say hello to the vlog. Hey, bro. <laughs> Thank you. That's the hairstyle you gave me. Oh, he's fogged up. Um, yeah, just waiting for Ash. And then I've got to go get on my list is some like show stuff, like um, plying stuff, like um, thread and stuff. Um, we're going to use our white saddle pad that our physio gave us, so we can get to use that. Um, what else? Need some white gloves. Maybe a bigger girth. I'm going to see how much they are because we have a leather girth now with like no elastic. Um, so I don't really like using elastic girths. But where someone, not naming any names, has put on a little bit of summer weight. Um, no, I'm not talking about you, don't worry, no. Um, it's just a little hard to do up and I'm just thinking if we get to dressage and he is a bit, um, a bit lucky and a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, on his toes, the, what, the time it takes me to get this girth on now, I don't think, I think I'll struggle, like, if he's a bit fresh, um, so... I might just get a bit of a bigger girth just for the next couple of weeks. He's a, he's a really good weight right now. Um, oh, I don't want him to lose any weight. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. Just waiting for Ash and then we'll be on our way. Hey, Fanny.
I'm going to buy more things as usual, so I will be back soon, okay? Spent all my money on you. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Don't regret a single penny. <laughs> Bye, Lottie. That's quite nice. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. That's a weird shape, isn't it? Oh, Ash, you need this. Oh, and the number bib. They're actually really firm, aren't they? So a lot of the stuff I needed was um, like show stuff, like platting spray, and they don't have any of it. So I'm gonna have to order that online instead. Uh, so I'll order that this evening, but I have like gloves and stuff to get. So we'll see if they have all that in stock. But Ash has some stuff to get too, so she's busy. <laughs> Here you go. Thank nice you. Nice Navy schooling whip. You remember last time we were here, you're like, no, I will never use a whip on that horse. <laughs> and here we are. Oh my god, that's so nice. It is, isn't it? Oh no, this one's got like... Everything. There's some here, I think. Um, Alright. Do I need to buy one? Probably not. I'll leave it for now. Ash, oh my god, we could be matching! Oh, but I have to have a half pad, so it doesn't make sense. Oh, that is actually really nice. I love it though. I love this blue colour. Maybe one day they'll tell me I no longer need a half pad. Well, the way he's putting on his muscle, I think that might do, come might soon. Right. All my words went the wrong way around then. That date might come soon, is what I meant. Like I quite like this um, armor carbon ones. Yeah, I was just looking at those. They are quite nice. Okay, Gus. Let's see. If I had money to spare, I'd maybe get a pro light, but I don't. So, so we just have a regular level one at the moment. Which is that? Um. But I might just get a thorough good one for now. Black aeroform. Right, we need a 40. No, right, we need a 48. Oh, that's brown. 34. 36. 48. I resent using an elastic girth, but I actually want to be able to get my saddle on him, so. Tried and tested, but I can confirm it's a good girth. Rain approves. It is rain approved, certified. <gasps> Look, I have it in Burgundy this time. Oh, that's actually really nice. Should we have a look at I think you should get that down. You just want to see me use a stick again. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really nice. It is, but how do we feel about the brown leather? Oh, you have black tack, don't you? Yeah. Mm, that's a shame. You might be able to stain it, but I mean, if you're paying for something, you I'm want it to be- I'm paying almost 30 pounds for it. You want it to be how you want it. Yeah, and this will be like my third head color. Yeah, you really don't need a color. I think that's honestly it for us. As much as I love making you buy things you don't need, 
I don't even use my Lemure one. Yeah, you already have one at home that's not being used, so. If it was black leather, oh, I could have saved three pound. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, those gray feed buckets are quite nice. No. I have to say you have made our lives difficult by buying the same feed color bucket as me. <laughs> when I was buying, I can't mess up the scheme now. But I do need a spare, so. Load her up. I was panicking, thinking I needed a. Um... Yeah, it's really nice. Ever I need a grackle. I'm obsessed with grackles. And you know what, they did a study and they're actually kinder than even like a cavus and nose band because of where the nerves in your face are. Yeah. So that's, that's my excuse. And I really like John Whitaker as well, like yeah. as a brand. Yeah, it's a good brand. Affordable, but actually some stuff is quite expensive. Yeah, that bridle's on. But it did come with the reins. <laughs> and a fluffy nose piece, so really, <laughs> who's winning? <laughs> It's nice, but not my colour. I could see you in it. I think, you know what, I think I've got my purple Macaro. I quite like wearing purple. How are your Macaro leggings? Oh, they're so comfy. They look really smart. So are they comfy. the ones you got on now? They're so nice. Okay, I need to get some white gloves, um, a hairnet. I might have some hairnets at home, but I don't want to risk it. I've got my jacket, I've got white jods at home, and I have a show shirt somewhere. So, oh, did you get Daisy's boots? No. Oh, they might be down here. Somewhere. I'm seeing if I've got any more stuff up here. Heck, this is large. The back ones might be. I hate this. I need a hairnet. I don't know. Is that my hair colour? Maybe that. Oh, I need a scrunchie. What colour should I go for? Maybe white? I don't want to wear navy. Yeah, we'll go for white scrunchie. And um, brunette. That is me. Although, maybe this is less expensive. £1.50. Oh, actually, is that fair? I guess that looks different. I'm gonna get the trans only ones because that looks a bit thicker. Gloves. White gloves. Purple are my favourite ever, but they're expensive and I'm probably wearing them once. <laughs> hmm. Not tall, I like these. Jeez, 20 pounds. Hmm. I'll probably go with these Mark Todd ones, they look really smart. I just need to check my size. Cool. The stuff I was most looking forward to getting was like the plaiting spray and stuff. Um, and they had like none of it, which I'm really sad about. So I'm gonna have to order that today. I got some thread um, and like plaiting wax and stuff. Um, so I'll have to go home and order it online. But I was really excited to pick all that up, so. I've just got back from Chalky, so this is why I look like this. But I'm so excited to open it. Um, maybe I need some scissors. How do you get into this thing? So I ordered it um, direct from smartgrooming.com. Comes so fast as well. So, so we have the Extreme Detangler. I've just run out of my other one, so this is perfect timing. I have the um, braiding like pulley things, so you can pull the braid up through. Like they're kind of like big tweezers, I guess. Um, plaiting gel. I'm gonna practice with all of this before um, our competition, just so that like I know it all works and stuff. And then I'm really excited about this: the um, plaiting wax. That's gonna help give me a lot of grip and help those um, flyaways as well. Mm. 
It doesn't smell strong, but it does smell nice. I think this is everything. Oh, oh my gosh, no. What's this? <gasps> Enhancing gloss um, just for his like black points. Smell this one. I'm so excited to use all this on him. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what consistency I thought this was gonna be, but it's kind of like solid. I thought this would be like really liquidy. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the shine on that already. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like, kind of like a, um, a Vaseline kind of texture, I'd say. It's nice and shiny. Oh, it's really soft. So I'm so excited now to I think I'm more excited to like get him ready and like go through the process than I like, am the actual competition. Um, but I'm just treating this competition as like a schooling session, you know. It's his first competition. It's his first time in that kind of environment. He's never even seen whiteboards before, so we might not even get into the arena. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited and I just feel so like happy that I have my own horse to do this with and like this is even happening, you know, so. No time to be nervous because we're just grateful. <laughs> I'm gonna pack this away, take it down to the yard, and I'll see you guys soon. Hello everyone. So tomorrow is our competition. I'm so excited. Um, um, so today I'm gonna be spending um, the day just getting Chucky ready and stuff. Um, it's like 8 a.m. I'm just about to get him in. Um, then I have like a few photography jobs to go to, and then this evening I'm gonna him a bath getting like super clean stuff so he's ready to be platted up and stuff tomorrow um i'm just so excited i can't believe this day is finally here and for me about competing my favorite part is actually like the prep like i just love the excitement and like getting them ready and stuff so yeah um we've got our times and stuff and oh my god so i got my number and my lucky number is four and our number is four so Good sign hopefully oh my gosh look at my hair i've just come back and we're gonna um have a little school not too long only like 20 minutes just to um just so go run through it once um but i don't want to overdo it today and then he's gonna have a bath and i'm gonna just um <laughs> separate his mate <laughs> and I'm gonna give him a bath. I need to wash his mane and tail. Um, and then obviously this is his body. It's a bit sweaty from our ride. Just give him a real good deep clean. His tail is quite filthy. So, oh boy.
So he is bathed and clean and I'm just gonna section his mane off tonight. Um, save me a job tomorrow. So just heading out to the field now and have a nice night out and then get them in the morning and finish up putting and we'll be off. Hey, well, we don't have to go to the afternoon, but he usually stays pretty clean as well. So we should be good.